Only one way to find out. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's grab this dude. Let's grab life by the balls and kick it, you know? We've been pushed down so hard, Spencer. It's calling? It's calling? Interesting. No one is answering. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Holy shit. Holy shit. No one is answering, man. It is not good, Spencer. Or maybe it's just busy. Or it's off. It's an airplane mode. Or maybe not. I don't know. Nothing. Damn. Should have thought this through. If I send him a message now, he'll definitely think I'm a creep. Oh well, better not waste the rest of the break. I press the back button, then the messages icon. I scroll through Ian's text down to the last one. I hold my finger there to copy. New contact, paste, name, Ian's friend, save. Contact already exists. Is this a glitch? Worse. It's Andrew. I was thinking as well, I was like... There's only one dude that's pestering everyone. Or rather, help too healthy. Sorry, my back really hurt. I tried to stretch it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There we go. My back is good now. Hours pass. It goes pretty smoothly, considering none of my other classes go well enough or badly enough to keep me from worrying about how that exam went. I bombed it for sure, but... But how bad is it? Or maybe Spencer was just born this way and he needs counseling, some meds, and, you know, fix his shit. That's the only thing I could say. And I'm not saying it's going to be easy. It's easy to say. It's hard to do. That's what I'm saying. A fading grade is just a fading grade, supposedly, but a 60 counts for a lot more than like a 30. That's what I was thinking when I was in high school. But in high school, um, it's okay to fail, you know, it's like, your summer class or there's like four quarters to take first second third fourth so four major exams if you fail one but you pass all three you're good in college you need to get a for my first uh, you know in my first experience university let me just move along uh is that 60 was pass passing for this new one, I think it was like 75. I didn't even see. So I'm screwed there. Twice as much, in fact. See? I can do math. Well, good for you, Spencer. You know, it's almost nice worrying about my grades. I bet this is how normally people experience college. Normal people... Yeah. Uh, no, no, wait. Not no. Everyone experiences this. Wake up on time, itch shit on an exam, not get strangled. Oh, okay, yeah, that's pretty normal. Wake up one time? Uh, it's normal to not wake up on time. Not gonna lie. It's normal to be late? It's not normal to be absent for like... I was absent for like... Half of the semester? I had some... I had some shit to do. With my mind, you know? Sleepy got fucked up. Personal experience. A family... Event, though. Alright. And then failed to graduate because he didn't remember what a certain type of squiggle was called. Well, if you're civil engineering, you really need to memorize that because you're building stuff. You're, you're doing the plans and then you're giving it to the construction or the foreman and then they'll order what to do and stuff. It is 3.07 now. Reminds me of school, really. All the leaves and trees. This is giving me flashbacks. Flashbacks that I don't like, but hey, it's like Time to face my greatest challenge yet. Figuring out an excuse not to see Andrew. What is even the game plan here? Hey Andrew, I know switching classes is the enrollment's obvious job, but can you just do it for me? Yeah, I probably should have done this a week ago, not that you mentioned it. No, you're right, I really can't seem to find my own ass with both hands. Can you find it for me? Thanks. I hum and haw and hover next to the cafeteria, wasting some unearned money on over-expensive campus coffee. Exactly. Campus food? Campus food, expensive. You go outside the campus, very cheap. It's the business model for those restaurants and food, I don't know, businesses. Not before long, the sun begins to set. 
Did they really just spend two hours on this? What a waste. It's okay, Spencer. We've all be I've been there. God, this is hitting me, bro. <laughs> we'll better get going. If I'm lucky, they'll be too tired and ask me kindly to piss off. No, I've met those kind of people. They're not tired. They are tired, but they can push it. They can give their 100% on most things and then recharge at night. I don't know why I expected anything more fancy. The only difference between this room and any other classroom is that someone printed out and taped teaching assistant study session to this one's door. Andrew sat at the desk at the head of the classroom typing on a laptop. Ooh. Um, hello? Well, 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 Mr. Guy that wants to get into my pants, huh? Spencer, how are you? I was getting worried you wouldn't come. Come? Oh, <laughs> he's wearing a tie. Nice tie. It's mine, huh? Thank you. I find it helps clarify which student's supposed to be answering the questions. Well, I... I had a question. I take the chair across from him. Please, go right ahead. Oh, you like that, huh? Sitting on the ch this chair, huh? Something's wrong. Andrew's game is way off. That friendly mass is still there, but so much less animated. He's not even bothering with waving his arms around. Maybe that's just how he is. That's how he leaves impressions to people. There's some people that pull in a front. You want to, like, look really good the first impression. Not gonna lie, because that impression is gonna stick throughout your interactions. The rest of the interactions, well, it's gonna be difficult to change that impression of you. You could be a lazy jackass and then, oh, that's him, the lazy dude, oh my god, yeah. Even if you even if you try to change, it's gonna be difficult. So, oh, uh, my first period hasn't been going great. I'm not much of a morning person at, at all. I've been trying my best to adjust. I really have. But it hasn't been working out. Why today have to be the first day ever? I'm not tired. I must look phony. I feel phony. What's he gonna say? Can I get like a medical exemption for morning classes? You know, like something for people who can't deal with that schedule? I would suggest change the schedule. Go to the afternoon class. Yeah, afraid not. No. Smug bastard. So you can't help me. I do apologize if you're unable to accommodate a health problem. Is this something your high school had a policy for? Well, you can fuck off, Andrew. No, but... Hmm. I was hoping I could at least move my schedule around. He's gonna say yes. Yes, you can. I don't think he's buying it. No, he can actually change the schedule. Spencer has to talk not with this dude, but with his professors. And have um, a different schedule for that subject. I, uh, should probably go take this up myself with the enrollment office, huh? Yeah, no need for enrollment office. You only go to the enrollment or register's office if you're changing the actual class, like you're shifting, or you're shifting course, actually. Or, you're not picking a course, per se, because a course is like a course of food, a set of subjects given to you, so you could achieve this, let's say, information technology, civil engineering, Bio, medical technology, med tech, you know, things like that. But if you're like the kind of dude that goes in, I want these subjects for first sim, okay, you can have it. This pro the university doesn't give a shit. But if you pick up actual course, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Should probably go take the, yeah, yeah the register or the registrar, they're located. Wow, Andrew's not so enthused. Oh, now he is. On second thought, it sounds like you could use some help. I'm glad you felt that you could come to me. I'd be happy to do what I can to make this right. Okay? Daijobu? Hmm? Daijobu des? Oh, thanks. Give me just a moment, please. And remember, sleepy don't speak Japanese. It's just some random words that I'm putting up. The hell just happened? He returns to his workstation and types a lot. Does he have the web page address memorized or something? Some students do, some students don't. Or is he typing something about me? 
could be. You might need to take a class at night. Is that okay? Uh, yeah, that sounds fine. Excellent. I do apologize for the inconvenience. Hell, can I just take nothing but night classes? You actually can. Once again, registrar's office, free. The professors, you could talk to the professors. They could literally move your name from their attendance sheet for afternoon or morning class and move it to night class if they have a night class available. Not all subjects have night classes though. Screw mornings? Oh yeah, if you could screw mornings, it'll be tight. <laughs> That's weird. We're getting pretty far into the semester though. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be more grateful. No, I get it. I get his worries because that is a concerning thing. If you're like one month in, it's kind of difficult to change classes midway or that into that college like time set or schedule. Is he doing me a favor or is he trying to make me think it's a favor? Isn't this his job? He's an assistant teacher, so it's not really his job job. It's like he'll try to do what he can. But by the end of it, it's the teacher professor's job. I'll send you an email as soon as I get word back. Was there anything else, Spencer? Perhaps some concerns with one of your courses. It's crazy. This guy is the uppity, the total opposite of Spencer. Has the has the like clear mind. I don't know if he has. Most likely he has some problems as well, but he can keep it down. Damn. Yeah, I had some other questions actually for you. Oh, 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 I see. What, what, what? Calm down, it's happening. He clicks down the lid on his laptop and swivels his chair to face me directly. Could you please just tell me what's going on? That's something of a broad question. Do I have to spell it out for you, Andrew? If that's your real name? Spencer, in spite of what you might think, I'm just a student as well. You're wearing a tie. That's not what I... Spencer, I'm supposed to be answering math questions for intro to chemistry. Oh, so that's what you were talking with Reed about. Some sociology as well. I'm getting agitated. Are we really going to play this game? Time to pull out the big guns. Oh god, Spencer, don't worry about your ding dong. I thought it was safe for work. <laughs> god, I hope this works. Fine. I just have Ian tell me. Spencer. You two know each other pretty well, don't you? We're all we're in all the same classes. Did you know that? I met him yesterday. He was pretty surprised to see me, like he'd just seen a ghost. Maybe I'll ask him about... Maybe I'll ask him about it, hmm? Maybe I'll have him ask you why you've been spying on one of his dead friends. Hey! Hey! Spencer. Ian isn't... Clears his throat. <coughs> <clears> throat> oh, shit. Look at this man with the tie and the table. Okay, I see big dog Andrew here. Hmm? Trying to about to spill some expo uh time to spill the beans. Some exposition, expose. You two aren't the only ones disturbed by recent events. I don't actually know what's going on with Reed. I answered to him, but I'm supposed to be uh I'm not the evil mastermind you seem to have me made to have made me out to be. I run photocopies, I lead study groups when they're feeling adventurous, sometimes I grade papers. He closes his, his eyes and pinches the bridge of his nose. I'm just trying to fulfill an honors program for God's sake. I didn't ask to be part of any of this, whatever this even is. Oh yeah, you could be you could have a scholarship program, one of those um you are part-timing working an assistant teacher or an assistant librarian you know you're helping the school in actual paper documents not gonna lie i didn't ask to be part of any of this whatever this even is i'm being asked to do a lot but told very little 
I don't know why the police were here asking for me specifically to identify a corpse. I don't know why it looked just like you, Spencer. I don't know why I was wearing your clothes. They asked me and I told them it was you. And that was that. I'm glad I was wrong. So that's why he was like fidgety and found us. He's like, oh shit, oh god, I made a mistake. I made some wrong infos. But thank god I was wrong, you know? Ian was relieved too. Bullshit. One last thing, Spencer. The only thing I'm spying on is the entrance to the fallout shelter. We've been asked to monitor it ever since it stopped being guarded last year. And before you ask, no, I don't know why it was being guarded. Not any better than you. What's he talking about now? What? Why are you talking about the fallout shelter? Hmm? 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 Andrew? Saw me, didn't you? I've heard they're reinstu- they- uh, I've heard they're reinstu- Reinstituting the guard program tomorrow, however. So I'm afraid you won't be having any more of your adventures into the fallout shelter. You fucking sneaky bitch! He knew! I'm sure you can find somewhere else to do some urban exploration. And hopefully I won't be asked to stare at that damn door ever again. Huh. Interesting cutoff there. We're 70 minutes in and just full of shit and yeah. Wow. Damn.